Good morning. I thought it was going to be a bit warmer this morning, but it's not. It's quite chilly and there's a few spots of rain. But I think it's going to be, it's going to end up being at least a dry day. So we've come out, we've come out fairly early, but there's still quite a few people knocking about. I can see people with dogs all over the place. We were out yesterday and I met a woman and we were chatting and she mentioned she had an hearing aid. Now, I don't know where we got round to hearing aids, but we did and she wore an hearing aid and she was only fairly young. And it was this tiny little thing. It was one that went behind your ear rather than in your ear, but it was, it, it was tiny and she was telling me that she can get, she listened to the radio through it, she can listen to podcasts through it, she listened to audio books through it. And I was kind of mind blowing because isn't technology fantastic? I always think of hearing aids as being those, do you remember you were old enough that you had these big things that you stuck in your ears and then it was on a lanyard round your neck and it was like a big box that was like just a big microphone on your, you know, and, and it, it wasn't, it wasn't, unobtrusive at all it was like this big box on your chest shouting look at me I'm deaf but then we came away from this encounter and I looked on my phone for something uh, on YouTube and there was an advert there for hearing aids and I thought here we go again is technology listening into us I think it is it's a bit scary isn't it this happens all the time and you can turn the, you, it, and then if you turn your device off, it's still listening in. Technology, it's as if there's something omniscient and omnipresent out there, just listening in to everything we do and dictating what we see and what we hear. It's almost like, is this the modern deity? Is this the 21st century deity? I think it is. Are we all supposed to worship it? I think not. I think we should shun it and curse it. Technology is great though, isn't it? But there is so much new tech coming out all the time. I always feel as though when something comes out, the world kind of lets it settle down, the, the, how it kind of changes things a little bit, and then everything works in concord. And then it, it's like butterfly wings really, isn't it? And then a new piece of technology comes out and it kind of sets up a little ripple effect that goes through society until it kind of settles down again. And it's like upsetting the yin and the, the yang of things. And, and society kind of reacts with it, you know, something comes out and the next thing you know, people are falling out, people are, it changes, technology, new food, new things, lots of things kind of just blend in, they, they come and they don't really cause any problems or any change, but a lot of things in technology are the things like phones and computers and things like that, and all that kind of tech, all the stuff that's linked to the interwebby, and they're the things that kind of, when things change, they get into the public psyche, they get into the psyche, especially the younger people, and they get in and they upset things and start up this ripple effect that kind of goes through, and then new causes, people start to champion new causes, and it all goes on for a while, and then it settles down again and everything works in unison, in concord, and everything is happy until the next piece of new technology comes out and flaps its butterfly wings. These are the things that cause all the schisms that make us old people say, it was better in my day and all this modern nonsense and it was better when we all had polio. How far can innovation go on? What happens when we, we've innovated everything and there's nothing left to innovate? And we all get bored and we start killing each other off because we've nowhere to direct our creativity. Answers on a postcard. We shall see you on the flip. Peace and love.